Good morning, traders. Well, we had a, a roller coaster ride in the US session, uh, Tuesday's session. US markets initially moved higher on a, a CPI figure that came in line with the expectations, which took a little bit of pressure off the Fed. Um, and of course, no more news of, of any banks going bust. So. Uh, the punch bowl was taken away somewhat later in the session with news of a US drone uh, and Russian jet colliding. That was paired with an S&P downgrade of First Republic Bank to a negative credit watch, which um, raised some fears a little bit of, uh, of the regional banks still. Um, that saw the market reverse quite sharply, but there was a late day rally with all the major indexes finishing in the green. NASDAQ again outperforming, finishing up over 2%. Um, some of the Big winners in the banking sector were the, were the big banks in the US, the JP Morgans, the Wells Fargo's. Um, they saw record deposits coming out of those smaller banks um, into the relative safety of, of the bigger banks. So Wells Fargo was up almost 5% on that. Um, FX, choppy session, uh, the US dollar finished mostly unchanged against its major peers. Though the US dollar did rally strongly against the Japanese yen, recu recouping some of the, the losses over the last three days. Now, rate, rate odds moves uh, markedly higher. They've, yesterday they were around 60% for a 25 basis point hike in March. That's moved up to around 77%. So it obviously was a headwind, a bit of, a bit of support for the US dollar as well. Um, oil prices took a hammering. They uh, plunged down to a 71 handle, three month lows, testing the, testing the support that was set in December back, uh, December last year actually. So this is really on recession fears, that lingering fear that the, with those rate height, rate hike odds increasing that we could see a, a marked slowdown um, caused by this. So oil is very sensitive to that. We've seen it, um, yes, testing. One interesting part too is that it is in the in the buy zone for refilling the SPR. So anything under 72 is what the US administration said they'll be looking to refill that. Uh, Bitcoin, that burst higher, re went through its 25K major resistance level, which has held it in check since July last year. Didn't last though, came back down through it. So this is a major level to watch. If, if it can get through and hold, uh, it should uh, turn into major support, but that's if it gets through. It's, it's, been a, it's been a level where it's really struggled, so worth watching that one. Um, tonight we have some PPI retail sales figures. This will be another a piece in the Fed puzzle as to economic health of the US um, and inflation figures.